These are their written plans to literally hunt us down and eat us. They use the term Leviathan as a code word for Westerners and behemoth for Easterners so that we don't realize that they are plotting to kill and eat us. The English translation of Johann Andreas Eisenmenger's book Entdeckter's Judentum summarized their intentions by effectively quoting from the authoritative Yalkut Shimoni on 2 Samuel, paragraph 161.8. To represent his victory, they say that the righteous in the days of the Messiah shall hunt both the behemoth and the leviathan, and that whosoever has not seen an hunting of nations in this world shall be worthy to see it in the world to come. The original German edition of Volume 2 of Eisenmenger's book is even more explicit and quoted Yalkut Shimoni directly, both in Hebrew and in German translation. Der Rabbi Joden spricht, dass der Rabbi Simon gesagt habe, der Behemoth und Leviathan werden inskünftige der gerechten Jagd sein und wer in dieser Welt keine Jagd der Völker der Welt gesehen hat, der wird würdig sein, dieselbige in der zukünftigen Welt zu sehen. Wie werden sie aber geschächtet oder geschlachtet werden? This passage translates to English as Rabbi Yoden says that Rabbi Simon said that the righteous will hunt behemoth and leviathan in the future, and whoever has not seen the hunts of the nations of the world, the goyim, in the present world, will merit the privilege of seeing them in the world to come. The Israelis are presently making sport out of hunting Palestinian civilians, harvesting their organs and selling them on the open market in Jerusalem. They plan for you to be next. Their plans to murder us and sell our body parts, plans which they are presently carrying out, are expressly stated in the Babylonian Talmud, Tractate Bava Batra, Folio 75a. Rabbah says that Rabbi Yohanan says, in the future, the Holy One, blessed be He, will make a feast for the righteous from the flesh of the Leviathan, as it is stated, the Habarim will make a feast, Yikru, of Him, Job 40, 30. And with regard to the remainder of the Leviathan, they will divide it and use it for commerce in the markets of Jerusalem, as it is stated. They will part Him among the Kenahanim, Job 40, 30. Midrash Leviticus Rabbah 13.3 explicitly states that the Leviathan and Behemoth, which are to be hunted, are, in fact, the Gentiles. It explains that the God of Israel will sanction this method of slaughtering the Gentiles and certify that the Goyim are kosher food for them to eat in the world to come. Rabbi Yudan ben Rabbi Simeon said, Behemoth and the Leviathan are to engage in a wild beast contest before the righteous in the time to come, and whoever has not been a spectator at the wild beast contests of the heathen nations in this world will be accorded the boon of seeing one in the world to come. How will they be slaughtered? Behemoth will, with its horns, pull Leviathan down and rend it, and Leviathan will, with its fins, pull Behemoth down and pierce it through. The sages said, And is this a valid method of slaughter? Have we not learnt the following in a Mishnah? All may slaughter, and one may slaughter at all times of the day, and with any instrument except with a scythe, or with a saw, or with teeth in a jaw cut out of a dead animal, because they cause pain as if by choking, or with a nail of a living body. Rabbi Abin ben Kahana said, The Holy One, blessed be He, said, Instruction, Torah, shall go forth from me, Isaiah 51.4, i.e. an exceptional temporary ruling will go forth from me. Rabbi Berechiah said in the name of Rabbi Isaac, In the time to come, the Holy One, blessed be He, will make a banquet for His righteous servants, and whoever has not eaten Nebula in this world will have the privilege of enjoying it in the world to come. This is indicated by what is written, and the fat of that which dieth of itself, Nebula, and the fat of that which is torn of beasts, Tarifa, may be used for any other service, but eat it ye shall not, in order that you may eat it in the time to come. 
For this reason did Moses admonish Israel, saying to them, This is the animal which ye shall eat.